Are you ready to find out the top six most impressive tools I learned about that can help your real estate business at this year's NAR Next conference? Then stick around. Hi everyone, Craig Grant here from the Real Estate Technology Institute. Welcome back to our channel where we help you become the best real estate agent you can be. Today I'm providing my big takeaways from the recent NARNX conference, so let's get started. NARNX in Boston was great this year for many different reasons. First, while the attendance was a little bit lower than prior years, most of the key people that I personally wanted to see were there. So I got some really valuable FaceTime with friends, and colleagues and people from all the industry that I don't usually get to see. Plus, I was able to make many new key connections with new friends and new vendors and stuff like that. Plus, I got to take in several great educational sessions from the likes of Heather Haas, John Gillum, Natalie Smith Davis, Matthew Rathbun, Marky Lemons Ryle, Kerry Little, and many more. Plus, on a personal side, as a lifelong Boston Celtics fan, I was able to take in the Celtics Warriors game and had a great time, and catch a legendary Steph Curry in person for the first time. I would have been a little bit better Celtics team able to win, it was still a great experience. Plus, I'm sure you know, Boston is so well known for seafood, so I'm pretty sure I ate my fair share of lobster and chowder to kind of hold me off for a while. But as a technologist, NAR conference this year was great. Typically, most years, I go through the expo floor trying to find one or two companies that wow me and maybe I'll get one or two a year. Well, this year was very different. I found several different companies that really impressed or blew me away. And the big theme this year on the expo floor was definitely artificial intelligence or AI. And it wasn't just that all a lot of these companies were incorporating AI, a lot of them were doing it very smart, really understanding how to use AI to really maximize data and predictive analytics and a lot more. So there were a few to me that stood out for the pack, starting with Cocoon. Cocoon is a great tool or platform that helps real estate professionals provide their clients after the transaction with tools and information to keep that relationship and communication going. What Cocoon really does in a pretty impressive way is leverage a huge amount of data to help that property to know in real time what the value of their property is. And it can update them anytime anything happens in their area about other properties, whether it's residential or commercial and also gives them pretty impressive tools they can use to figure out maybe they want to do an improvement on their property, what the actual projected cost would be for that, what the projected return on investment and the resale value would be, and more. And not just a calculator to help them figure out these projects, but even then connect them with uh, verified contractors and professionals in their area that can do that kind of work. And you can even see every, um, permit ever pulled by that contractor. You can see the property owner's information they did the projects for and a lot more. So hopefully it can also help that property owner make smart hires and not hire someone who might do fraudulent or incorrect work. And again, it's all about providing that property owner a lot of great information and also pushes content to them all throughout the after transaction relationship and keeping that love going well after the transaction. The next tool that I thought was pretty impressive is called Scout. Scout, again, uses AI and it trenches a ton of data and uses predictive analytics to help the real estate professional find who that next homeowner might be that might want to put their property on the market. And again, it does a lot of proactive push communications to those property owners, giving them pertinent information about their property and their lifestyle and everything that might help them kind of push to get out their property out on the market sooner. So for more information on that one, you can go to trustscout.com. A third product that got my attention is called Infinity. And it's spelled a little bit interesting, it has two Y's, okay? So it's Infinity, I Y. And this one again, really leveraged AI and data in a very smart way. What this one did was really reimagine the property search experience different than any other tool I've seen before because what it did was incorporate an AI chatbot into the search experience, but it wasn't just you're searching using AI, it's a much more interactive conversational thing where you're, the AI is asking you questions about what you like in the property, what do you like to see, how it can recommend other properties to you. It even does a very smart integration with Google Maps and Google Street View, so you can literally say, let's walk the neighborhood around this property and let me see the surrounding things and everything else. 
So again, this one is called Infinity. Really different, innovative way of doing a property search, something I had never seen before. Another pretty impressive tool is called Domi. And again, spelled a little bit weird, D-O-M-I-I. And what this tool does is it kind of combines the feature set of a tool like Forewarn, where you can do security background checks on people, but that's just one piece. Really, the much bigger part of Domi is that you can also use it to find out information about really any property or parcel in the market, uh, tax information, property owner data, you name it, and use this as a prospecting tool, not just a security background check tool. So again, Domi is pretty impressive. It actually has over a hundred different tools, way more than I have time to cover here. Okay, so again, the security background check is just one piece of it, but it acts much more as a prospecting and a marketing tool as well. In the security area, you also had another impressive one called Tether. So Tether also acts as a security checking tool for a realtor, where you can kind of look into somebody before you meet with them. But it also has a lot of additional security features when you're actually at the property that you can use to notify anybody if there's any issues. It even you looks at the tracking systems within the phone to see if there's many sudden movements or dropping of the phone or anything like that that can notify um, you know, the police and different security aspects. So Tether has a lot of different features and tools in it. Plus, again, the idea is we're merging tools into other tools. It also can do a really good job of tracking your mileage, your expenses, your receipts, and more, which again, might help you eliminate some other apps or tools you're paying for. And then the last one I saw that I was really impressed with is called TrackXI. So TrackXI, to me, was probably the easiest to use and best designed from a UI standpoint, task and trans, trans management software. Most transaction management software kind of look more like a CRM. You just see a bunch of leads in there and you check off what you've done or haven't done. This one has a very visual display so you can very easily know the second you log in, what activities you have to do and don't have to do you know, that day or which ones you need to follow up with next. And it really helps you make sure you're meeting your goals um, trying to get to a certain amount of transactions and outbound calls to get those transactions and so on. So it was really about the visual way it laid out information and display things that I think is really key with TrackXI because most real estate professionals struggle with their task management. To me, this one made it really easy. So again, you can look get more information at trackxi.com. I'm sure there were many other impressive products either that maybe I missed on the floor you know, I only have so much time or this are coming to my mind right now, uh, but I'm sure I'll be covering more and more of them as we go over the next several weeks. Uh, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tips. Your feedback uh, helps us improve and be more, bring more value to you. Also check out reti.us and agingacircle.com for more great information and resources. That's all for now. Once again, this is Craig Grant of the Real Estate Tax Institute and the H&M Circle with this tech update. Until next time, have a great day.